What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lyman Football, and today's video will be the review on the Adidas Nasty Fast brand new uh, Lyman Gloves. Obviously do the quick tour around, so uh, starting at the palm we do have this perforated material here, and that is to make it more breathable because not gonna lie they don't breathe very well, but we'll get into that later. So let's do that up. Uh, it does have a micro grip so it won't catch on anything, which is nice. Okay, and as we work our way up, we can, uh, we'll start, if, uh, so the biggest thing you notice on these is the padding. So if you look, it's this weird kind of uh, wave kind of padding, and I'm not sure if that helps for absorption at all, I couldn't find anything on that, absorption of energy, but it definitely looks really cool. And the one thing I really like about these gloves is they're the first all-white lineman glove on the market. It used to be the Hyper Beast, but they even had the black, which I didn't like. These are all white, and the Cellar Hintsy Gray I like. And yeah, the colorways on these, if you look at Sports Unlimited or East Bay, I'll link them. It is really cool. And so we looked at the padding on the top, and they are the same as the Crazy Quicks, and they have these ribs on the side. The only difference is the Crazy Quicks didn't have the padding that this one has, or at least the amount. So that's the top of the glove, and you do have some of their uh, Adidas Grip Tack grip there. On the inside, we do have a padded palm in the same style leather that the uh, Hyper Beast is. However, it doesn't cover the hole. Uh, this glove kind of bridges the gap between like a running back fullback glove and a uh, lemon glove. So you do have the grip tack on the inside here and what they're calling it is the foliage uh, print with a whole bunch of different words like elusive. Uh, it really looks like elusive a lot. Confidence, that kind of thing. And uh, one thing I really like is, I've never seen this on the glove before, is this kind of one thing right here which really restricts your thumb a lot but it still gives you where you want it right here for punching. Right, so it's it kind of holds your thumb at that position, which is nice because it also kind of feel like it helps keeps your thumbs up. Because as soon as you bring your thumbs down, you can jam them when you're hitting, so it keeps your thumbs in the proper position for a good pass block. And uh, so I test these out. As you see, there's really no wear to them. Uh, they are all, all white, so they're a little dirty because I was on a dirt field, or at least mostly dirt. But uh, I was actually surprised how well I could catch a ball at this. Um, I was catching the ball just with one hand with this grip and you know with like the cutters gloves I've seen you know they have that rev rev tech grip that recharge on our field before I couldn't catch a single ball with it just because that little bit of dirt we get on the gloves and the gloves you know you get to clean off but with these they stayed nice and uh, sticky even when there was dirt on them and I really like that about them so there's the full view of the gloves and how they look in the white and they're super nice so to start off we'll look at protection so, of course, you have all this protection on the top, which is what you need in a good lineman glove, and you also have the padded palm, which I like, and it continues into the thumb. So that's really all the protection I think you need. Uh, I don't think that the Hyper Beasts are overkill, but I really like the amount of protection these have. So I'm going to give these a 10 out of 10 in terms of protection. Have durability. So uh, with all the materials in this, there shouldn't be anything that comes off it, maybe besides this top layer grip. So you have micro grip here, which lasts a super long time, which will help the durability of this on here, so that will never wear down, in theory. Uh, everything on here is sewn in. There's nothing. There's nothing screen printed on here, like the Nike logo or anything like that on the Vapor Jets. And this is all sewn in, so nothing should come off these gloves besides the top layer of the Grip Tech grip, which you still have grip a layer underneath, so that should be no problem at all. So again, for durability, I'm giving these a 9.5 out of 10, mainly because there's always that top layer of screen printed grip on here that will come off, but doesn't affect it, but it can't get a perfect 10. And next we have breathability. So it was summer, and when I was using my Hyper Beast, it was more fall, so that could be part of it. But these gloves don't breathe worth a damn. Like they added a lot of stuff, like in here, the perforations to help it breathe, but your hands get really sweaty. And even my uh, friend Joel, who's a receiver, I was letting him try these out, and when I took them back from him, I slipped them on, and you know, you know that feeling of wearing gloves that have just been worn by someone else that are kind of sweaty, and it's kind of gross. And then, you know, it's really hard for them to make a really durable, dense foam that can protect you, but also be breathable. It's just not possible right now with the current technology. So for that, I had to give it a five out of 10 in regards to breathability. Next is a uh, grip. So this grip tech grip, is really nice. I can catch a ball so easily with it on and uh, I think it's actually really nice for snapping. So you have the receiver grip which I always really liked for snapping. That's why I wore the Vaporjet 3.0s for when I was a center. And 
but then you also have the Hyper Beast, which have this thing on it, this uh, kind of rubbery kind of stuff. The nice thing is this bridges the gap between the two. So honestly, if I was even a fullback or something like that, which I'm hoping to be in the future, uh, I would get these. I would probably wear these gloves over maybe even the super bads. Um, when you're carrying the ball, you're, you're a fullback. You're getting in. You're getting dirty. You do have the grip on here that you need for carrying the ball, but you also have the really nice this kind of grip on here, which is nice for uh, catching the ball. And honestly, this glove is like perfect for any tight end, uh, fullback, really any like you know like the halfback position on offense where you have to play a lot of different positions. So I love this glove in that uh, regard, so I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 on grip. And last we have fit. So uh, I was talking about ball feel and the fit and that kind of thing. These are the best fitting lineman gloves I have ever worn, hands down. You have good amount of movement in your fingers. You have good amount of movement in your thumbs and your palms. You know, the thumbs are still really restricted, which is nice, what you need, but it doesn't stop you from catching the ball. So uh, I love the fit on these. Um, larges can be a little big on me sometimes, but these are super tight, so if you wear a really tight large, I might go up to an extra large, uh, just because you know these are very tight on my hands and my hands aren't very big. But yeah, for uh, fit, I'm giving these a 10 out of 10. So these gloves retail for $45 on Sports Unlimited and $49 on eBay. Hyper Beast are like $60, and they don't have the full white, and so honestly, I'd pick these up over the Hyper Beast. These are my new favorites, you heard it here first. Uh, the Hyper Beast you could not wear at a fullback or tight end position because it has that Hydra grip covering the whole gloves. With the addition of the grip tack on these, these gloves are usable at any position and they're crazy comfortable. So yeah, I um, hope you liked the video and thanks.